Welcome back to the kitchen. We're being a little bit fancy today, so you know, uh, we're just going to get straight into this and uh, do some fancy stuff. Okay, so we're doing a venison wellington. For those of you that don't know what that is, um, it's kind of like a beef wellington, but it's with venison, of course. So anyway, so beef wellington is a beef tenderloin that is seared and then some stuff is put on it. It's wrapped in puff pastry and it's baked. So that's what we're doing right here. I've got this venison tenderloin. I've got it marinating overnight. And then I put a little salt, pepper, garlic powder on it, put it in the fridge and let it kind of dry out all day today in there and so I can get a nice sear on it and now here we are baked you out because you're looking at bacon and mushrooms right now so anyway I'm gonna cut this bacon up uh, pretty small uh, maybe like quarter inch strips or so and my little helper here is gonna process up these mushrooms we're just gonna put those in there and cut them up and I'm going to get this bacon going in the skillet and then throw the mushrooms in there and we'll come back in just a second all right, so I got the bacon and the mushrooms going right now, and I hit them with a little salt, pepper, garlic powder. You want these pretty well seasoned because, you know, this is a relatively thick piece of meat, and there's no seasoning on the inside like there would be if you're slicing in the steak. So anyway, hit that up. We're letting that go, and while those are cooking, we're going to try to make up some mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. Never done this before. We're going to go for it. So pro tip, after you peel these, if you want to cube these up, slice them in half, and they will lay flat, and they won't fly all over your cutting board. And then you can just slice them however thick you need to. And so we're going to put, you got it? I've got about a half a cup of water and maybe a tablespoon or so of salt in there. And I've got this little, whatever this thing is called that goes in there just to keep stuff off the bottom. Some kind of rack. Uh, go ahead and pour that in there if you want to. And then we're just going to throw these potatoes in there for like 20 minutes or so and check on them when they uh, get done. To get this thing seared, you would rub some uh, Dijon mustard on it, but I found some horseradish brown mustard, and I'm gonna use that instead because horseradish and beef and venison like steak is just a really good combo. So this is still pretty hot, but it's basically raw inside because I just seared it for like, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 seconds aside, and the rest of it's gonna finish cooking in the oven. Alright, so I've got this puff pastry down on a little bit of flour on here just so it doesn't stick. And we're just going to spread this mushroom and bacon out on here. Just a real thin layer, try to, hopefully. And then we're going to roll this thing up. Okay, so I trimmed that off, kind of raked everything out so it was all nice and even, and then trimmed up the sides and did the same. And then I've got a little bit of a straight edge here, and I'm gonna try and make like some lattice stuff. And this is just extra, but I'm just gonna make like one inch slits or so and skip an inch all the way down. And hopefully this will work, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I've got my slits all the way across and my oven just preheated, so this should work out maybe. And you just pick these up and then holes for them. I saw Paul Hollywood do it, so it's got to work. And we'll just trim off the extra bit too. 
All right, so I've got this uh, all latticed up, and I've just got an egg that I've whisked together, and I'm just gonna do a little egg wash on this. And we're gonna put this in the oven, it's 400 degrees, for about 35 or 40 minutes, just till the puff pastry gets done. And hopefully, we'll have like a beautiful medium rare on the inside. All right, so I've just made some beef broth with like some beef bouillon, and it's just like three cups of water and maybe a tablespoon or so of the bouillon. I'm just gonna deglaze the bottom of this pan a little bit, get all that good stuff out of it. And throw in uh, nearly a half a stick of butter and let that melt down. All right, so I've got all that butter melted and I've got about a half a cup of flour I'm just gonna put in there and just combine this really good and make sure there aren't any lumps and get all that raw flour cooked out of it. And then we'll throw some the rest of this broth on that and make some gravy. Okay, so all this is picked up, I'm just gonna start slowly adding my liquid to it. All right, I just poured the rest of this in there that's right at three cups. And uh, it's a little bit thin right now, but I've kicked it down to simmer and it'll thicken up. And should be just right for mashed potatoes. Alright, so this has been out of the oven about 10 minutes or so. Just kind of let it rest, cool down a little bit, and pile of Hollywood. Whatever that does, you know how it is. And we're gonna cut in, see how we did. I'm afraid this may be slightly overcooked just because it was such a small piece compared to beef tenderloin, but we'll see what happens. Boom, yeah, it's right at medium, almost medium well. But anyway, we get a pretty cool cross section. And, um, yeah. We'll get these sliced up and plated up and uh, got my gravy boat full, mashed potatoes, got some of this uh, root beer being all. Root beer is? Yep. Sure. And uh, yeah, all fancy and cheers and pinky out and stuff. Hope y'all enjoyed.